All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we did singly linked list the last couple of days. Now it's time to kick it up a notch. This is doubly linked list. This is what we're trying to do. We want to have uh, a pointer, a head pointer. We're going to have a head pointer. We're going to have an end, but we want to be able to go back and forth on the chain. <coughs> okay. So it looks like each of these has a pointer on them, a pointer, pointer forward and a pointer backwards, which means we're going to have to adapt our code. So I copied our code from last week. And so we're on lecture day nine, we're looking at doubly linked lists. And we have a node next pointer. We want to add to it a node going backwards. So we're going to call it node previous pointer. Which means we're probably going to need uh, some accessor methods. So we've got void and get or set and get next pointer. Let's do set and get previous pointer. <clears throat> so I just copied those and I'm gonna edit them. And we'll look to see if we need to adapt our constructors in a second. Probably not constructors when you start the chain and there's no reason to start the chain and have something that's a previous pointer. So the previous pointer should always be a null pointer for the, the first item in the chain. So let's go down we did, we've got set and get uh, prototypes for previous. Let's go down and Where's our main? Our main is right there. Okay, so let's come down to our node node. So there's node. And we wanna copy these and adapt those. We're gonna go and look, see what else we need to change in these. This will be get previous. And obviously we need to return previous pointer. And we'll do set previous here. And prev pointer, the previous pointer will equal arg pointer. So I've got my two previous and I got my two next. And let's over here sketch what I saw in that paper. We're looking for, we're gonna start with able. And who are the other ones? Baker, Jones, Smith, and Wilson.
and then I'll terminate it. So maybe maybe doing that is a better way to show an alternated. <clears throat> okay, that's what we want to do. So let's come back and look at our code. Let's make sure everything's set up in Node correctly. So our Node implementations, when we do the constructor, there's an item and there's a next pointer, there's a previous pointer. So we should do set previous pointer to null pointer. Should add that in. New with double A linked. So that's our default constructor. And when we have this one, we're going to have set previous pointer is null pointer also. Because this is the constructors. So the previous, we're constructing the head. If there should be no previous. So all of these should have a null pointer for previous. Set items good, get items good. All of those should be good. Node looks like it's gonna be good now. Uh, so that looks okay. All we had to do was add some accessors and do set previous pointer to null pointer in all the constructors. Let's come up here and go through these one at a time and reason out what we wanna do. I'm shrinking them all down so that that way I know I don't go through one accidentally. Okay, so our linked list is now a doubly linked list. What is in our linked list up here? We have a head and a tail. So we're going to keep those in mind. We'll come down and look to see how our, our code's got to change. So our constructor should be fine. That one's good. No no pointer or no head, no tail in the beginning. We could take in the head and they're both our head. What is the difference between, oh, that's set head. That's right. No need to change any of that. Add node end might be tricky. <clears throat> so let's take a look and let's pretend uh, that we're gonna, Add one more here. We're at the end. We're at Wilson. And right now it starts off null terminated or null pointer. And we want to add a node at the end. So we're going to put in a node. Let's call this uh, zebra. <coughs> and right now, this is tail. And this is our node.
So tail needs to point at zebra. We'll call that step one. Zebra needs to point at tail. We should make sure it's null terminated. And we should make tail zebra. Does that make sense? So like if I were to cut it from scratch, let's say my link list is called uh, OLL. That's my OL, my link list. Uh, we have a link list up here. Let's do it in the main. Let's take a look at it in the main. So, let's just come here and think about what's going on here. We're at the end. It looks like end is KL here. Is it? Let's see what the list was there. Nope, leisure to Larry is the end of the list. Okay. So, like, effectively, we've got my list. Let's do a temp node and take a look at what would be going on here. And temp dot set item. We're just coming up with some bullshit right now. Uh, we'll say Mary. That's after L. And so what we would need to do is do my list dot get tail. That gets tail. And we want to set next pointer to temp. And then temps, we're gonna set previous pointer to tail, to my list dot dot get tail. I'm just looking at and making sure this works before I Try to adapt that code down there. And then I want tail, my list dot set tail equal temp. That's what we did on the paper. Except I said zebra rather than Mary. So we made zebra, which I guess is number zero. I did set tail next. The node already comes null terminated, so that wasn't essential. Already part of the default. And then we did, so my list get tail, that gets me leisure suit Larry. And then we're saying the next node on Leisure Suit Larry is temp, which is Mary. And then we say Mary's previous is get tail, which is leisure still. So that's attaching, that's doing step two, connecting the previous pointer. And then line 108 is doing, changing the tail over to Mary. I think that's gonna work. Let's hit run and see. Ah, shit. What happened here? Did 
Did I already have a temp? Maybe we start off as a null pointer. There we go. Nope. Say that again. It's not a node, right? We need a new node. Temp equals new node. Might try that. And that needs to be a node. There we go. And now Mary's at the end. Okay, so this is what we need in our add end node. Yeah. Want to take a look at it? <laughs> okay. So that's what we want to, I'm going to copy this down below and make sure that's what we're doing in our add node. So copy. This is add node end. I don't know even why we're doing the get head in the beginning. I bet this works with get tail right away. Let me try. Without changing anything. Yeah. We didn't need get head right there and get tail down here. We just do it all at once. So we start off at tail. And this is what we need happening. So we're taking in we're taking in an arg pointer to a node. Uh, presumably, where the node has the input in there, and we don't have a temp. We have arg pointer. So temp is our arg pointer. So this is like this is like arg pointer, but this part should already be done. And temp pointer is tail. So temp pointer, sec net pointer. This is this is this line right here. One seventy one is one sixty six from up above. And if we set tail too early, I don't have a way to get back to the temp or back to the tail. So before we do set tail, this is where we need to do arg pointer dot set previous is temp ptr. So 172 is the same as 167 here from up above. And then 168 is 173. So all we needed is add one more line. The set previous, and that kind of makes sense. We just needed a way back, right? Let's come up and take a look at it and see 
do that up here in our in our main. So all that should be able to be condensed down to just my list dot add node and and insert Mary. We'll do MN doing that letter thing. Let's just make this shorter. Hello. I need a thing there. This is like if I had MN here, my list dot add node end is not correct. I need to do new node. There we go. That should do all of this. So let's comment that out and check, give it a try. Look at that. All right, so we've got a way to add a note at the end. You guys figured out one? So what is next on our list of things to do down there? All right, so we got add node end done. Now we're looking at get node end. This was one of those where we had get tail or get node end. One of them had to cycle to the end. So this was our one that cycled to the end. That doesn't seem to need to change. We're just fetching. I'm thinking the fetch item shouldn't have to change very much. What about add node front? Let's take a look here. Let's set up our, our scenario here where we got, well, right now what we have on our screen is this is AB. And the next one is CD. We'll say it's just A, B, and C, D right now. And we want to add 007. That's what we did earlier, our add node template or te testing was add 007. So right now this is head. This is head. This is our arg PTR coming in. So what do we think we need to do looking at it on the paper? What's the first thing I should try doing? Not try, do. What, what's the first thing I should do? To this? So if we start off here, we do head pointer there. And if I say that's step one, now that's gone. And I have nothing to the main list. I've lost my list. So that's a, that's a good thing to check. We don't want to start with head. So don't change head. Let's... We need to connect these two, right? Does it matter which one we connect first? Not really, right? One of them has got to do this. And one of them has got to do this. And if we go in the order we were doing earlier, we would keep this set 
first or set next first and then get next or set previous next. And this one is, in fact, it still says step one on the paper, temp, which is our arg node. Is setting its next pointer to head. That's what we got. That's number one. I didn't even have to code it. It's already good. And set head to the temp or arg pointer. That's step three. We're just missing the fucking link again. So maybe we need to do brackets again. This didn't have brackets because there was only one line, but now there's two lines. We need head or get head dot set previous to temp. I think that covers it. So this is step two, and this is step three. That's not too bad. It looks right. Does it look right? We have it up here. We have a add node front is 007. It was working before I did add node front. So it was just, maybe it wasn't, it wasn't doing the connect back. What we had was not connecting back yet. Now it is. Except our add node middle Add node in general, it's probably not working the way we want. Right. And the thing with the list is that if, even if one like, process goes wrong, the entire thing, or at least like the middle process, like one, well, either two goes wrong, it's not going to work. We actually can't check to see if our shit's going backwards, right? Because our print cycle is only going forward. So maybe we should, before I try this clusterfuck of add node in the middle, Let's get a, a, a print reverse going on. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. We got print string list. My list got get head. Where's our print string list? We're gonna add a print string reverse. Where is it? There it is. Oh, that's a big doozy. Nope, that's not the one I want to change. Leave that one alone. Change that one. What we're doing? Yeah. It's in the announcements. It's okay. lecture day 08. Okay. But I can copy this and Post it as an announcement real quick. Make sure everybody's caught up. Mid class post. We'll select all. Change the format to pre formatted. Oh, that's going to look like shit. I learned you gotta do paste as plain text. Otherwise, all that shit's got all those extra 
I don't have shit there. Do what? Tell me later. <laughs> we're on we're on a timer here. All right. So you all can get where I'm at right now. What are we looking at? We're looking at print string reverse. So it actually doesn't shouldn't matter which node we take in. Doesn't matter which or what node we take in, we should get to the end node. So we're gonna say temp node pointer equals, I'm gonna say arg pointer rather than the beginning pointer bullshit. And we're gonna say temp node pointer equals arg pointer. We aren't taking in the list, we're taking in the node. So we have some options. We could change it to take in the list or we can just do this and take in any node and say, all right, go to the end and start printing backwards. Let's, that doesn't seem too bad. So like right now, this is the loop. Like if there's nothing in it, it just says the list is empty. So this else thing is what we're looking on. So while temp node pointers next pointer is not null, it's saying do the print out. We don't want that. That's printing forward. This line prints out each one forward. We don't want that. We want to get to the end and this will get us to the end. So when we get to the end, the next pointer is a null pointer and this while loop stops. So this jumps us to the final node. So we want to do a while loop here and do while the previous node isn't the null pointer because only the head pointer should have the null pointer, right? While temp dot or temp node PTR dot get previous does not equal null pointer. We want to do a C out. We want to do this. And then we want to jump to the next pointer. Temp node pointer equals temp node pointer dot get previous. This will do us until we get to the end or the beginning. This should get us to the head. That while loop should take us to the head. But it doesn't print it. So we got to add one more print. This prints the head. Run that by me again. Uh, what line? Uh, uh, for three sentences. Okay, so when we're, we're we're printing backwards. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know how it doesn't say no pointer dot get previous pointer. Yeah. If you set the 
city also does so that it, it looks at uh, that note is it, it looks at the very uh so like get pointer whatever that pointer is is not equal to no pointer and then that would uh have to be something like that. I don't know what I'm not explaining that so um, we look at it well and then it says hey if I'm a no pointer then uh then X is that we don't have to like, worry about the very last one. Like, get rid of this? Kind of, yeah. that Let's make sure it's working the other way first before I start <laughs> doing a clusterfuck on it. I think it's worth a try. Everything's worth a try. Cobra Kai. Oh, I didn't actually tell it to print reverse. So let's try this again. Print string reverse and take in any node. Uh, so we'll come up to our main. And I'll comment out the get forward. No, we want the get forward because the get forward is going to tell us exactly what's in the list. And then I'm gonna put a little line break here. And then we're gonna do print string reverse. We'll do my list dot get head. So this should test the reverse. I didn't do the prototype. I'm absolutely certain I didn't do the prototype because I don't remember doing it. All right. So notice when we print backwards, LL is connected to MN, but when we L KL is not connected to LL in the previous. So we're not adding previous somewhere. And LL was done with the middle node. Uh, let's see, is that the only one with the middle node? Yeah, it is. I'm going to comment out that one, the LL line. That's the only one that doesn't that does add node middle. There we go. Look at that. Printed 007 to MN and then MN to 007. So the only one that's right now is fucking things up is our add node middle. When we did this one, let me rerun it. LL is not connecting to the previous one. This makes sense because we haven't touched the add node middle yet. So we need to go and fuck with that. And that's gonna be the hard one. That was a hard one going forward. It's gotta be the hard one going backwards. Let's see. Well, that's all that. We need add node, this one. It's this one right here, we're doing it. So let's take a look at our picture right here. Let's do, oh, you can't see the picture. You still can't see the picture. There we go. Okay, so let's, let's set up. We got AB in the front. And that's null terminated in the forward or backwards. And AB is connected to CD. Uh, 
and CD points back. And that one's going on like this. That was EF. I don't know how far we're going to need, but I want to see what it looks like. So what we want to do is we want to come in and alphabetically insert BB. Because A, B, 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 C, D, that's alphabetical. So right now, the only thing that's labeled, this is, this is head. And this is arg PTR. So I'm not going to do it in the add node section. Let's come up here and think that part through. I'm going to comment that out. I'm going to. OK, so our goal is to add BB. So I'm going to make a node pointer temp. I actually think I have one already made. My node. We never use my node for anything. Nope, that's that compile time. It's not a pointer. We don't even need that. It's just fucking doing nothing. Uh, so what we have, we're going to do a node pointer temp equals new node. And we're going to say it's BB. That was quick. Kai doing a drug deal? What's going on? Uh-huh. All right. Wait. Wait. I'm going to call this arc PTR so it matches what I got on paper. That's how drug deals go. They show up for fucking three minutes and they leave. <laughs> I know. I used to do drugs. Oh. This is, I'm, not, I'm not talking on my ass. Back when I was a stupid teenager and then an adult your guys' age, I got my shit together. All right. So this did this sets up arg pointer. That's all we've done so far. And we still have we have always have access to head. But we, maybe we're not putting it in head. Let's change this. Let's not do BB. Let's let's do DD. Because putting it in right after the head is the easy part. All I gotta do is go to get head. So we want to put this in here. Let me just redraw it. So we need CD to point to that and DD to point to CD. And we need DD to point to EF. And EF to point to DD. And we do need to do them in the right order so nothing gets fucked up. So maybe, maybe I'm going to draw this. And how was our add node working? It was doing, we were doing add after, right? That's got to stay, we got to pick direction that we're going. Uh, so I'm coming to look at our add node anywhere. This should return a pointer to the node before the insertion point. So we want to like, temp in the function should get a CD. If I'm looking at that correctly, we said temp returns a pointer to the node before insertion point. 
Insertion points here, the node before is CD. So that's temp right now. All right, now we gotta figure out how that's gonna go. We can't lose anything. So, did someone text him or did you hear that on the way? I might have heard it on the way out. So, if I do CDs next or, well, CDs on, we're only needing CDs set next. We need CDs next. And this is E. EF's previous. That's what those arrows are. If I fuck with CD next first, I lose access to EF. If I fuck with EF going backwards first, that's actually not a problem. So I could, if I'm looking at this, we got our new, new node pointer DD here. And I'm gonna say, current node pointer equals Example. I'm going to use this to fucking highlight. Oh, I keep doing that. Keep trying to camel case null pointer. Uh, when we get to CD, this is where I'm going to just say real quickly example PTR equals current node PTR. That way I have this gets me CD. Actually, I can put that right after it. So this is for testing purposes. So example, I'm going to example PTR is pointing at CD right now. So if I want to do, I said we can't fuck with CDs next, but we can fuck with EFs previous. I just made that up up here and I set it equal to CD. It's just, yeah, it's just a new pointer real quick to test this. I'm going to get rid of it as soon as we're, we're done testing it. So I made it on 79, we set it on 90, uh, and we're testing it here. So if I wanted to go from EF, what I really need to do is do start an example pointer and do get next. That gets me EF. Does that make sense? So currently I'm at EF with this line of code. And if I want to set previous, I can set previous to arc pointer. What that's done is it's killed this and done that. That was step one. And maybe I should connect our pointer to it. 
So arg pointers previous. or set previous should be, it's our example PTR right now. So right there, I'm doing this, that's line two. So let's label them line one, line two. All right, I got two more things to connect. I gotta go forward. Maybe I should do. If I do CDs next first, I lose access to a pointer to EF. I have nothing pointing to EF. So I should do that first or next. I should do our pointer set next. And I need to make that equal to example pointers dot get next. That's a fucking mouthful right there, right? Let's make sure everyone's following that. Mother. So this is number three. Arg pointers next is, is the arrow for three. And I want to set that equal to example pointers next. That's what we're doing on line 111. Does that track? OK. So that's line three. And finally, I need to connect. I need to do uh, temps next. So example pointer next. Not item set next should equal arg pointer. That should be line four. Three and four are not interchangeable. Are one and two interchangeable? Can I do two first? Because on the top line, we did going away from DD first. Can we do that down here? Can I do set arg pointers, set previous? That might be a good thing to do. If I move this right up here, I'm changing this to one and that to two. And then I don't lose any arrows until after I don't need them. I like that. I'm going to do that. So do the pointers going away from the new node first. I probably could have made those one and two, but I didn't. Did it work? Let's print our, let's print our run. Let's hope for the best. CD, DD got inserted and it printed backwards, right? Look at that. Isn't that fucking beautiful? That's beautiful. That's not our, we didn't change the code though. This was a, this was a one-off. So I'm going to get rid of that example pointer line and I'm going to comment that out here and I'm going to grab this. And what we really want this to be is my list dot add. We want a new node DD 
after CD. That's what we want. So we're trying to do 104 all in one block inside our add node thing. So I'm gonna copy it and come down to our add node thing. So let's see how it worked. This is a reminder. We start off, we make a temp that's pointing to the head. If temp's a null pointer, we say there's no list, we start a new list. That's, that's standard operating procedure there. Then we say temp is search for value. This is searching for CD, because that's what we passed in. Uh, and so on our paper, that's what we had here. All right, so this is what we're trying to do here. I need to uncomment that. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so we already have our this arg pointer is the DD coming in. So we want to do this thing. And it's called arg node here, not arg pointer. So arg node. Let's go through that and do that. So arg node dot set previous. And we're setting it to temp. That does line one. Line two was tricky. So example pointer is our temp here. This is temp in our program. And arg PTR is arg node in our program. Oh, that's one way to do it. Just edit the code right there. Look at that, that's handy. I didn't do that though. Let me get rid of that crap. So that did line two. I bring this down, copy this down here. So arg PTR is arg node. And example pointer was our is temp in this thing. That should be line three. And then line four is temp dot set next is equal to arg node. And then it quickly determines is this ending up being the tail node after all? So this was just what we had in here was, does this end up being the tail node? If so, make it the tail. I don't think we need to change that. So we could have went and grabbed, I'm sure this is all in the fucking code that's in the canvas thing. I think it's much more helpful to go over it by hand, look at the picture and determine what's going on. Cause you're not always gonna have a list of something going on. You're not always gonna be able to fucking do geeks for geeks. And if you're doing cutting edge shit, AI, isn't, AI mimics other shit that's already done. 
it tells you shit that's already existing. It doesn't come up with new shit. So AI is not going to help you do new shit necessarily. Uh, so being able to work it out on paper, if needed. That's exactly what it is. It's, a, it's an encyclopedia that flips to the exact page you need quickly without having to fucking open the book. Right? With like a calculator and shit in it too, because it'll like, and like does, I, I don't know if it does graphing it yet. No. It, I'm getting a nod over here. There's a lot of shit. Uh, it shouldn't. Because there's always original thought that's required and it does, it's not self-aware. It's not capable of original thought. AI only responds, right? Someone's, it, it, it mimics other shit that's already existed, but it doesn't do it without a prompt. You got someone's got to tell it what to do. So people are telling what to do. And if nothing's ever been done and there's anything like what you're doing, it has nothing to mimic. Right? It can't repeat something that's not been done before. Now, some things it can do that necessarily, like I could give it a new calculus problem, just changing the numbers around on a fucking function. And it should be able to do that because it's an algorithm and the, the, the math operations don't change. But if you want to write code, what if you're writing the fucking next spacesuit code for the spacesuit? You want to fucking make, uh, oh shit, Jarvis. You're fucking writing up shit for Jarvis. <laughs> it needs targeting systems and all sorts of shit. And it, I don't know. That's a great example. Yeah, he's, I don't know if that was the best example. <laughs> Let's go see if this works. I coded it. Let's go see if it works. Is everyone at, did everyone get a chance to put that in? Did I set up the code up here to do it? I got DD being added after CD. It's printing forward and backwards. Booyah. Now, on Friday, Professor Ren's going to be here from 12 to 1. And he's going to tell you how you're all fucking replaceable. When he does, you can just tell him to kiss my ass. I am not replaceable. He's going, he does it in, he does it in Friday Night Lab. He says your job is replaceable. AI doesn't do original thought. Someone's got to tell it what to do. And you need, you need to understand how the fucking programs work to be able to tell it what to do, right? It's it's prompting AI to get a good result is harder than fucking searching Google for a good result. And most of y'all, I'm pretty sure, fucking suck at searching Google. Because, like, for I don't know, from what I've seen with, well, maybe not this class. Because you're all comp sci students. But the average fucking college student, despite having grown up with fucking computers, you fucking, the most of them suck. You you at, at using a computer like I don't know how to fucking do a document I don't know I don't know how to use Excel I don't I don't know how to fucking send an email I don't know how to check my email Are you fucking Kimmy? Check your email should be one of like the first things you learn. Oh yeah, I don't even know if they I offer typing classes anymore in, in high school and shit. They should. Oh, in middle school, okay. <laughs> Is it the hunt and peck method? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called hunt and peck. Where's the J? Can we still download to the Or what? The part where you add That? This was the add node middle? No, the part in the main. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, that was just this line right here. In fact, notice up here, we were doing current node pointer for a while. And then when we started adding our own shit, we skipped that. We should be able to trim this down a little bit. Instead of saying current node pointer equals a new node, just do that. And that will eliminate the lead for that line. So we got multiple steps going on here that aren't necessary. It's called refactoring, trimming down that code. So let's trim down the code. Let's get some refactoring going on. And thus, I don't even think we need these. These are trivial now. We just do our, our linked list constructor. Did you see it up there long enough? The at the new node in the middle? Presumably that still works. I've done fuck with a lot. Maybe I should check. Yeah, we still got it. So we added a node at the front. We added a nodes at the end. We added nodes at the middle. Uh, so we got our doubly linked list going on and we did it from scratch without even looking at other shit other than paper, right? I will of course scan this. I, I, people like that. Other than that, uh, is there any questions? I think that like, we only got like fucking seven minutes left. Five minutes left if I look at the actual clock time. You're free to go or stick around and have Juan uh, serve your needs. It's in two weeks. It's on the sixth or the eighth. It's, it's, if you look on the, yeah, it's on the syllabus. All right.